This is the Army Today. Decreasing violence on the ground in Afghanistan. Sergeant Pat Malone explains how a little help from up above has a huge effect on the ground. OH-58 Kiowa Warrior helicopters and the 101st Combat Aviation Brigade are not your typical eyes in the sky. These four-bladed armed reconnaissance scout aircrafts pack thermal imaging and embedded global positioning systems. These features help keep tabs on the enemy during day and night operations in Afghanistan's sometimes adverse weather conditions. If insurgents try to shoot the Kiowa down, they've got another thing coming. The warrior can fly at almost 140 miles an hour. It can return fire with air-to-air -air stinger missiles, hellfire missiles, high explosive rockets, and a mounted 50 caliber machine gun. Battlefield commanders serving in Afghanistan can depend on the accuracy and reliability of the Kiowa during life or death situations. And it's shown time and again that when our aircraft are operating in and around an area, enemy activity decreases. So our presence and our ability to go out and find and fix the enemy decreases the amount of contact that the ground guy gets, which in effect is what we do for a living. Just like ground troops can depend on the Kiowas when things get thick, pilots rely on maintainers to ensure their bird is good to go. We, we get to have fun as pilots. We get to go fly and, uh, and do the mission that we do. Uh, but it's really the maintainers that should get the credit. Uh, the uh, young enlisted soldiers and the NCOs that uh, are, are doing the grind every day. When we land and we have battle damage or we have issues with the aircraft, those guys are right there when we touch down and the, the engines are still hot and they're turning wrenches on it. So when insurgents hear this, they know the bird in the sky sees them and it is definitely not friendly. Army Sergeant Pat Malone, Jalalabad, Afghanistan. That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center in Washington. I'm Crystal Park.